When it comes to witches, the Most High Yah says, I suffer not a witch to live. When you think about that, I'm always posting videos and keeping my foot on the neck of witches because a lot of problems are caused by these witches and warlocks. Today, I'm gonna post a clip to let you know how comfortable these witches are in talking about witchcraft. And you, as a man, might see it as interesting and all of this stuff and might be curious. Some of it is gonna be rooted in uh, African culture. And I'm telling you to leave these witches alone. They will curse you. They will curse your house. I got videos up on these channels. And this is a doggone shame that the Daughters of Zion is sitting out here, sitting up openly talking about witchcraft. And, and here's the thing, as a man, you will be ignorant and sit up and say, oh yeah, she told me she was on a spiritual journey. Just because somebody's on a spiritual journey does not mean their, their spirit that they're talking about is a spirit of truth, a spirit of the most high. See, a, 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 a witch knows how to warp your mind, how to use mind control, all of these different tactics. Listen to what this woman says. And this is why I tell you to leave it alone. These women will be waking up 3 to 5 a.m. to be doing witchcraft, to be doing witchcraft, to connect to these uh, other realms. You got to think, you can get women to do this mess, but you can't get them to, to get up in the morning and, and, and make a breakfast for you to go out the house so you're not going to work on an empty stomach. You can't get them to do that, but you can get them to get up and doggone uh, play, play witch. I told you, man, every day is Halloween for a lot of these women. Every day is Halloween. You can go back on this channel, type in witch, and all the videos I've done as far as witches are will pop up. And a lot of these witches, they're very sexual and moral. You're gonna see the signs, they're not covered, you know, spiritually or physically. They gonna be out here, uh, you know, dressing very provocative. This is a woman sitting up here, damn near butt naked, whole belly out, whole belly out. You always gonna see the makeup. You always gonna see the same stuff, like pay attention. I'm telling you, leave these witches alone. In your ignorance, you gonna mess around and get cursed. Three to 5 a.m., yes. So three to 5 a.m., we call it the witching hour. <laughs> um, you're more than likely able to tap into manifesting energy at the highest point, at the highest portal between 3 and 5 a.m. Um, your, your brain waves are likely in alpha as well. So that's a lot of manifestation energy happening in alpha because you also don't have, again, that subconscious mind that's feeding you that negative thoughts and intrusive thoughts. So it's kind of like a level playing field. Whereas any other time during the day, you have so many messages going through your mind, but three to 5 a.m., that's where you manifest. Okay, that comes in with meditation again. So if you are not at that level of spirituality or just awakening, you're not going to know. You're not gonna know. You're not gonna even understand the messages. Like even if you saw the crow 10 times, you're not gonna know what that meant. Even if you had ladybugs on, you're gonna be like, oh, it's just ladybug, flick it off. You know, like it's a lot of different methods of messaging that they do it's just up to the person to really tap into their spirituality a lot of people are just blank canvases 